56 update on a deadly accident in the town of Oneida. 13-year-old Braxton Cassay was killed Halloween night when the driver of the SUV was riding in lost control and hit a power pole. Tonight, the community is stepping up to help his grieving family. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel has more from Seymour. Here at Seymour High School, it's back to class as usual today, but students and staff are returning with heavy hearts. The school district says Braxton Cassay was well-liked and enjoyable student. Now, as school leaders try to get back to normal, community members and those who know the family are trying to help. At the Jackson Point Sitco in Green Bay, where Braxton's mother Kim works, they've started a GoFundMe page and are collecting donations. They say Kim lost her father in July to cancer, and now, just three months later, her youngest son. Just had returned to full-time work with us here, and... Uh, and we know she's going to need financial help. Braxton is survived by a 17-year-old brother and his mom, Kim. The Seymour School District releasing a statement saying, quote, Braxton had a great sense of humor and enjoyed many friends. He liked to play football. He will be missed, end quote. The principal here at Seymour High tells me that there will be counselors on hand for students and staff throughout the week. In Seymour, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.